Hey artists, today we're going to be creating um, a whale and a snail from The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson. To do this project, you're going to need a straw, some crayons, a white sheet of paper, a um, water dropper, some liquid watercolors, and a Sharpie. So you're want, going to want to start with your paper the wide way. And the whale is the most important part of our picture today. So we wanna make sure it fills our page. So to draw a humpback whale, which is the kind of whale in the story, you actually just start with a letter C, but you wanna make your letter C really, really long like that. It's kind of strange. We don't normally make our C's like that. So when I have my letter C, the next thing I'm gonna do is come in just a little more from the bottom so they're not even even anymore. And I'm gonna give my whale my side fin. So this is a pretty important body part for my whale. And then I will come back across the page and I wanna leave enough room for a nice big tail fin. So I'm gonna come out on each side. And then all the way back across to the top. So this is a basic whale shape. Um, and now I'm gonna give my whale its mouth and its eye. So the mouth is pretty long and the eye is pretty small right there by the mouth. Then humpback whales have kind of striped bellies. So I'm gonna draw a line here from the chin to the back of the belly and give my whale some stripes. And I actually think these are a little far apart, so I'm gonna come back and add some more. So I'd say my whale is looking pretty good. I'm gonna add a few details to it. And what's really important is a water spout here. I'm gonna make sure I draw that. Now the reality of it is, is if a whale was swimming in the water, you would not see the top and the bottom. The bottom would be under the water. But for the purpose of this project, you wanna make your water line just somewhere near the bottom of the whale. It doesn't matter, but that's not really what they look like. It makes no difference at all. After you make your water line, another really important part of the project is the snail. The snail rode all over the world with that whale. So we really wanna make sure that the snail is featured in our picture. When I have my snail and I have my whale, I might want to draw a background back here that I saw in the picture, or maybe back here. So this is just water. Um, I could draw maybe one of those icebergs from the story or anything I want, but I actually am gonna draw an island, or not, not an island, but just some land in the background. And I am going to go ahead and put a palm tree. I'm gonna stay clear of my water spout and you'll see why in just a few minutes, but you don't wanna draw where our water spout is. So I'm gonna draw my palm tree and I actually, I think I'll draw a volcano. I think volcanoes are interesting. So I'm gonna draw a volcano back behind my snail.
So I could have drawn some other things in the water. I could have made my tail flipping up, but I'd say that this is good enough for me. So now it's time for me to use my crayons to color the entire picture, except the sky. You need to leave your sky white. You have to leave it white for the next step of the project. So when you have your picture all the way drawn and all the way colored, and it's super, super neat, you're ready to do the final step of the project, which is to use the straw and liquid watercolors and water dropper. You're gonna wanna do this and be careful to let your painting dry um, without dripping. Make sure you've really colored it as good as you want to. Um, I know you saw in the video that I used multiple colors to do different things. And I went the same direction as I colored. So it's pretty important that your project is nice and neat before this final step. So to do the final step, you're going to use the water dropper. And you don't need a lot of this, but you just take your blue liquid watercolor paint and put maybe like a pea-sized drop above the water spout. And then you take your straw and blow it up for your whale's water spout. And that is the end of the project. I hope you had fun today. Happy creating.